you talking about the key points detectors and we talk about one of the famous detectors is Harry corner detector how to detect the corner onto the image uh, last video you already know about the sober s and y in s and y direction how they train gradient of the picture uh, we apply sober into and Gaussian Mm, smoothing to reduce no arousal picture and how we see the trans gradient in S and Y direction, right? So we continue talking about the corner detector. And the key point detection is that it is unit structure in the image. Thus can be precisely located in the bow coordinate S and Y directions. So we'll look at the picture, three bits right here. You can see the red arrow indicates no unique uh, precision can be found in this direction or S or Y direction. The green arrow right here can express the opposite. They say the change of the radian right in the picture. Like we can see the corners right here is only the local structure that can be assigned a unique coordinate system, uh, coordinates in S and Y. In order to locate the corner, so we consider the contain on the window uh, W right here, how they change when we shipping there, we shifting is by small amount right here. We ship this window of up the uh, horizontal or vertical and how we, uh, we check how we see, uh, um, see how they change the um, visual into this uh, window. Okay, for example, in the A's right here, figure A right here, there's no measure change in any coordinate, coordinate direction as the current location of the rest window W. You see, in this uh, picture, you can see when the window W move as a Y direction, there's no change. Now, there's no change to be so they intensify, I mean the gradient into this window. So in other, in other words, in other, other case, we can look at the B, picture right here, the S, in the vertical moving, the, we can see the visual into the window, the no trend, but in the orthogonal, orthogonal right here, they had a change, right? They had the, uh, in the direction of the orthogonal to the S right here, they had the change, the, the in, uh, radian. So in the bit C, uh, the bit the last one right here, the window that contains the window contains that we change in any in any coordinate direction. So the idea of locating corner by means of algorithm to find a way to detect area significant change in the image structure based on displacements of local window W. Right, so generate a suitable measures for describing trend mathematically in the sum of square different. It mean SID. We had to calculate the square different SID. We look at the deviation of the bezels in a local neighborhood before and after performs a coordinate shift. The equation is right here. It mean we check how they change the bezel into the. Uh, after and before we move in the window into the into the picture uh, into in the image in as a y direction, right? Mm. After after shipping shifting the window W by a mouse in S or Y direction, the equation sum of the square differences of all visuals within W within W as the O and at the new window position. So in the first step, we base on the definition of the E right here. In just the amount of the moving in S and Y direction. Uh, and we will take the first method Taylor series expansion. So for small value U and V, the first order approximation uh, we have the formula right here. That's the the a gradient in S or gradient in Y. Look like last video we will talk about that. 
the derivation of the image intensity i in both s and y direction is something you have learned from last video. Uh, that's the intensified gradient, right? The second step, we know we insert the expression this i s plus u and y plus b into the equation. And we have the H matrix right here is called, we will call it covariance matrix. Okay. So to do the visualize the matrix H as an ellipse, whose the S is length and direction are given by the e eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So as can be seen following the figure, the larger eigenvectors points into the direction of the maximum intensity, intensity change whereas the small eigenvectors points into the direction of the minimum chain. chain. So in order to identify corners, we need to find precision in the image which have two significantly large eigenvalues h right here. You have, look, okay, we compute the uh, covariant matrix h. Right here in the picture, how we define the the axis in the uh, right here, we have the mean and mass, mass coordinates right here. Right here, the, the direction of the maximum change, right, in the orthogonal uh, to the S. The, the maximum direction of the maximum change, right? So in addition to the smoothing the image, you learned last video, the apply, apply the Gaussian to reduce the noise. Okay, the Harris detector uses the Gaussian, okay, to compute the weighted sum of intensity gradient around the local neighborhoods. The size of neighborhood equals scaled in the context of the feature detection and is controlled by standard deviation of the Gaussian distribution. Right now, they add the weight into the covariant matrix right here. Uh, as we can see, the larger scale of the Gaussian window, the larger feature below con contributes to the sum of gradient. So by adjusting the scale, we can control key points we are able to detect. Okay. So the Harris corner detector is a famous corner detector in the computer vision. This method evaluate following expression derived uh, a corner response measure in every visual location with the factor k being empirical constant which usually range from from point zero you can see k into the code too uh, so here is the formula of the harry corner response so based on the concept uh present in this session so we can compute the corner response for all image display, the results. Right here's the code we apply the Harris corner detectors and for the image. We read, we use the M, I am read the image, okay? We change the to the color into the gray and we apply detector. We had to use some detector parameters right here. Block size, this for every visual block size neighbors consider. Aperture size is three. The aperture uh, parameter for sub operators are uh, mean response hundreds. There's a value of visual of the key points. Um, and k, you can see the k if we use the Harris parameter right here. After that, we define some variable DST, DST normal, and DST normal scale. And we apply the corner, we use the corner Harris into OpenCV, uh, which through the uh, we have the image, we have the uh, the variable DSD right here, the image we create right here, and we use all the parameter for detector, okay, right here, and we, after that, we will show the IMSO, I am so the result. Uh, the result, something like this, we look at the picture, you can see the, the Y, Y uh, dot right here, uh, the price of visual, the higher, cur higher, the higher the Harris corner response. They say the Y one right here. That's the uh, the visual we detect the corner on the emission. In order to locate the corner, we know we to perform the non-maximum. So right now we have to perform the non-maximum suppressions.
to ensure that we get the visual with maximum cornerness in a local neighborhood and to prevent corners from being too close to its order as we prefer an even spread of the corners throughout the image. So after we use the heritage detector right now, how uh, we locate the maximum in the Harris response metric and perform non-maximum uh, suppression, okay, in the local neighbor around the maximum M. The result look like this, with its circle uh, denoted right here, denoting the position Harris corner. They detect test the Harris corner with a circle right here. That's the result. We had to perform non-maximum suppression in the local neighborhoods around its maximum. So that's the Harris corner detect detector. So I hope you understand uh, how they apply the, apply the Harris corner detectors in this session. That's mean. So similarly, you have to understand um, how they locate the key point det detection. Okay, the unit structure in the image that can be precisely located. Okay, in the coordinate system right here, okay? And we continue to show you how we apply. Okay, we continue uh, looking at how we apply the corner Harris detector into the C++ code and use OpenCV. It's the same last video, you know how to create a new project and you add the OpenCV into the project. Okay, and you have to use the open CV right here. Uh, okay, library, and after that, you run the course. You create a function, right? For example, corner Harris, and you read the image. Okay, convert to grayscale, and you use the detector parameter right here. Okay, and you apply the detect Harris corners right here. Okay, and so the image so right here. This so the result. Let's see how it looks like, and in the main, you just call that function, that's it, okay? And let's see how this show the results. Right here, the result, the Harris corner detector, they detect, you see the white one right here, the detected corner, the key point detector, okay. Uh, okay. So after that, we apply the non suppression, okay. Right now, we continue to, after we detect the key point, the next step we have to do. We will perform the non maximum suppression, okay, to uh, create the, the point, uh, key point uh, Harry corner detectors with a circle. Right here, after you see, we already did a Harry, uh, do the Harry corner detector, okay, on the image. We continue to uh, perform the uh, non maximum suppression in local neighborhoods around the new key points, right? So <clears throat> we create a vector key point. Key points right here we have con got, I mean we contains all the um, the the Harry corner key points, okay? So and we have we define the maximum overlap right here. This means the maximum permission overlap uh, permissible overlap between the two features in percent. So 
and we run all the column and row into the picture okay uh, last we already done right here okay and we run all the points the value the points value there and if the response right here if the value right here uh, is more than is more than the means value response is 100 we define right here is the value uh, right here this is the minimum value of, for the corner okay so and okay we get it that's value okay because that's the key point and right here for example the side of key point maybe three it's a little bit big cycle so we calculate the overlap okay right now we define the pooling variable right here is four so we run all the key points into the key points factor right here and we say if the overlap right here is more than the mass 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 overlap so we get the overlap is true and and not only that if the key point right here is more than the value is more than uh it's a higher for the new uh new key points so they will replace the old key point with the new one okay and after they got the new key points with a high value and uh, they the overlap is more than the maximum overlap so they boost all the key points boost back all to this vector okay and they show the key points image right here Let's see. This code, the whole this code it perform the maximum. Okay, uh, non maximum suppression in a local neighbor. So right now, let me show you the two results. The first one, we detect the key point. The second one, we apply the non, uh, non um, suppression key point. You see? There's the Harry Connors corner detector response matrix right here. And the second, you show you the circle right here. You see, they detect the the corner, okay, on the image, okay. Here's the result. You can play with the code, you change the side, the circle right here. Uh, you can the maximum overlap, they show different results uh, for you. So, okay, that's really easy. That's the principle how to apply the Harry corner detector uh, for the image, okay? Right here, you can change the value right here to see how it look like, the minimum value for the corner, okay? And you can, maybe you can change the side right here, smaller circle, uh, upper to side right here. And that's it. See you in every year.